quite luxury, sells wealth, money talks, wealth whispers. They're all buzzwords on social media right now. TikTok's hashtag old money has almost 5.5 billion views and counting. Seems like after the flashy UDK era, minimalism dominated the fashion world. But why is that? As much as it seems like shows like Succession and the overall internet obsession with how to look old money are the only reasons for quite luxury to thrive, minimalism and quite luxury are actually results of economic stagnation and recession. TikTok fashion commentators and trend forecasters even called it the recession core. But even in a time of struggle, our desire to look our best doesn't go anywhere. So for today's video, I want to share with you my top five time-proof tips on how to enhance your style while not compromising your budgeting journey. So let's start right after I tell you about the sponsor of today's video. This video is brought to you by Uopad. If you watch my channel, you've probably heard me talking about this brand and not once. They are one of my favorite pad brands out there. They offer a big variety of products for cats and dogs, including toys and grooming and feeding supplies. All of their product created with respect to natural habits of animal based on genetic and behavioral data. As I was saying before, they try to create products that just will be more comfortable and natural for your pets to use. In my last collab with them, I was showing you the feeding bowl and the water fountain that me and my cat are absolutely in love with. The new product I just recently got from them is this new thermatic brush. It will allow your cat to enjoy a head to toe massage to release tension, stress and anxiety. It has built in motion sensor, so it will start rolling each time your cat approaches it. And it well known that the cats prefer to be groomed in the direction of the hair growth. So the brush is automatically selects the correct rotation direction. And if the cat leaves the area, the brush will stop rotating. It imitates the material the cats like to rub against, such as tree bark, and fits the structure of a cat's head sand gland, which is, you can see this parallel arc design that allows cat to fully enjoy the process. And you can make this process even more relaxing for a cat by using a natural stress-free bag that can be put right inside the grooming brush. It can help cats to soothe their minds and get lounging cats up and moving. It's super easy to install and suitable for most wall corners, table legs, cabinet corners, etc. And it has a built-in rechargeable battery with a lifespan of up to 60 days. All of the UPAD products are pretty affordable and you can get them straight from Amazon. I genuinely love their products and I definitely recommend all the pet owners try them as well. So thanks to UPAD for sponsoring this video. I'll put all links down in the description, so go check them out. And in the meanwhile, let's get back into the video. When we're talking about style, if you want your style to be top of a game, but you don't want to break a bank, I cannot emphasize enough how it is important to finally find your personal style. And when I'm talking about personal style, I'm definitely not talking about the aesthetic things because no one ever can be just preppy or just you okay. You don't have to run after a certain specific aesthetic because it's obviously not realistic in everyday life and it's not the point of personal style anyway. When I'm talking about personal style, I'm talking more about understanding what suits you the best, understanding how to work with your body type, your proportions, what color suits you the most. I don't really believe in these popular classification methods like soft summer or dramatic natural gamete or something. It can work for some, for sure, but each person can have so many different unique nuances and nobody will know you better than yourself. So you cannot really just listen to what other people say on the internet, but you actually have to spend some time by training your visual memory, maybe read some books, something like the Anish Kari's The Created Closet, and then most importantly, just trying different things and seeing see what works and what is not, because you can think this thing will work for you in theory, but in practice it easily can just not. At the end, I think a personal style should be born as a perfect 
quintessence of your visual memory, things you see online, things you save on a Pinterest board, and your experience, real life experience, thing you try and experiment with. And it definitely will help you to not buy something that you're not going to wear, not going to use. It will help you to invest in the right pieces and not spending an excessive amount of money. And that is the first and I think the main point here today. But when we already established a personal style, there are another tip that can help you to stay on budgeting journey. One of them is definitely a buying secondhand. I mean, thrift stores and online, or even going through your parents' or grandparents' closet with their consent, of course. A few of my favorite pieces I have in my closet I got from my mother-in-law and my father. The nice collection of oversized blazers that I adore and I wear all the time. I've also got as a secondhand pieces at the thrift store. I think thrifting became a too popular through the last like five years or so and thrift stores are rising their prices. Places like Depop can be pretty expensive, but I still want to encourage you to check the local thrift stores you have in your area and just see what hidden gems you can find. I was shopping a lot at the thrift stores back when I was living in Texas and I noticed that each thrift store usually specializes on some specific things. I knew all thrift stores in my area and I knew that in this one they have a pretty nice bags every time I go there. This one always has a vintage Levi's and a men's suit and just stuff like this. It will help you to save not only money, but time, you know, where to go to, to find specific piece and just know for the future what you probably can and cannot find at your local thrift stores. Third point I wanted to put out there for the one who's struggling, who's on a budgeting journey and just don't know how to deal with all this fashion sustainability movement that out in a fashion bubble right now. Buying fast fashion is okay. Yeah, it's not ideal. It's not the goal. The business practices of this brand sometimes obviously can be questionable, but let's be for real, buying from 100% sustainable brands all the time, just not realistic and unattainable for most of people. You don't have to feel like a bad person if you buy a top from H&M or for God's sake, Shane. A lot of us trying to be more sustainable, but I think when we talk about the sustainability in fashion, it's much more important to be a reasonable consumer than buy from sustainable brands. Buy things that you know you're gonna love, you know you're gonna wear multiple times, like years to come, can be sustainable. I have a sweatshirt from the H&M that I'm wearing for seven years already. And I think it's much better than buying from sustainable brand, but only wear it like a couple of times and then donate it or throw it away. And by the way, try to resell it first yourself. It's always better for sustainability than donating because if you're donating, there are a big chance that it will end up in a landfill. So if you're on a budget and you feel guilt every time you order something from AliExpress from Shane, just don't. Don't. But don't buy mindlessly. Be reasonable. Buy something that you're going to wear for years to come. Try to find pieces of a good quality. And yeah, it is possible to find a good quality pieces at places like this. So yeah, my main point here, if you're genuinely reasonable, you don't have to feel a lot of guilt about buying from these places. The next tip of style on a budget is definitely invest in accessories. Here I'm talking shoes, bags, sunglasses, belts, all this little thing that can make or break your outfit. It may sound a little bit corny, but in real life, a lot of people can even not think about the transformative power of accessories in elevating your outfit. The easy outfit from tank top and jeans can change drastically if you add a specific belt and heels to it. Buy just one nice high quality bag that will elevate every outfit you're going to wear it with. And here we're coming back to my first point is finding a personal style. If you can pick just one bag that goes with everything in a wardrobe, you actually know what you're doing. And the same rule goes for shoes, 
sunglasses, jewelry. You can buy all of the things affordable as well, but if you're ready to spend a little bit more, like all of us want to treat ourselves from time to time, if you want to invest in some of the clothing pieces, definitely go for accessories because they will serve you for years and just pick the one that you will be able to wear with pieces that you already have and you know you will be able to wear in the future with your future pieces just once again two things personal style and smart consumption the last tip is more an idea to try and it is capsule wardrobe usually you create capsule for some specific event or season but some people experiment and trying to make their whole wardrobe a capsule wardrobe i think it can be taken to extreme sometimes so you don't have to be super minimalistic or settle for a lack of options versatility or color you always can just start little and try a capsule wardrobe for vacation or a capsule wardrobe for summer season just don't buy a lot of things, go through a closet, declutter, check out what you already have and think what can be a nice addition to that. If you want to check examples of capsule wardrobes, I have a bunch of videos like this on my channel. This is one of my latest one. It's for summer 2023. It has a lot of colors if you're into it or if you're into more neutral color schema like I am, you can check out this one as well. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it was helpful and as always have an amazing week and i'll see you in the next one